Alter 8 is known for its unconventional time-telling mechanisms. But what will happen if they went for the conventional three-handed diver? Fact number one, Aruba is a small island in the Caribbean surrounded by beaches. And logically, the main source of income here is tourism. Fact number two, I don't know how to swim. I've been here for 20 years and I don't know how to swim. I have never learned that skill and that's kind of ironic considering the watch pirate persona that I have. But that does not prevent me from wearing dive watches. You know why? Because companies keep sending me dive watches every five seconds. And also eight is one of those companies now as their latest release. I think this is the first dive watch in their collection. And this already looks familiar because they've used this case before, but now this time in a dive watch configuration. So let's see if it's anything worthy of note. Well, for sure, it's already interesting because of that color and find out what else it has to feature. Alto 8 made its way again into the channel with another release that's both familiar and refreshing. Familiar because this case has a great similarity with their other rugged case watch, the Iron X, but familiar because it's executed in a more weathered facade that somehow fits a dive watch more than a sporty field watch that it used to be advertised on. As great as that may sound though, it's not going to convince me to dive into the ocean with this watch. Mainly because of fact number two that I said in the intro and not because of the coral steward itself. See, this is more than capable to dive at any depths that you can go to because Alto 8 added more seals in this case design. Something that you could not say about this watch pirate. Operation should come naturally with the coral steward. It feels different because of that flat and narrow crown. It's not hard to untread and wind though. The benefits of having such a short base and flatter crown is that there's more weight on the base of the stem making for a more steady turn. So don't make the mistake of thinking that this uses some sort of special caliber. It's the same NH36 that powers these budget divers. You can also feel secure that this will be more than adequately protected with all of the crown guards around this case. It provides that protection not just on the timekeeping crown but also in the bezel crown on the other side. That's the beauty of this case design because that symmetry is actually used for something practical. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Having this crown on this side will need some getting used to because most people are used to the right side crown configuration. Here, you'll have to hold the watch and not wear it to even set the bezel to your desired position. So, in practice, you'll actually need to set your dive bezel while you're on the boat, strap this on your wrist, and then finally dive. The rest of the watch feels normal, like this quick release spring bar for easy strap changing. No micro band should go without this. Now that's our cue to have this coral diver placed on the table for all of its strap options. While many will love this coral green strap, I am not most people. Not only do I look weirder than an actual pirate who loves watches, I also have a stubborn taste. Part of my stubbornness is being an unofficial endorser of expensive sailcloth straps from Artem. This 22mm green Artem strap is quite appropriate for this coral steward as yes because it's green and it's a lot more premium feeling than their rubber strap. This dark green textured band delivers an understated utility to this watch. Not only is this pleasing to the eye, it gives off a subtle contrast that makes the dial pop a little. And I'll show you that once I get this deployment set which can be a challenge sometimes because these stiff silk cloth material can be hard to pass through. And there we go. That's the subtle pop of contrast that we can see in this strap and dial combination. But if you want to emphasize even more contrast, a darker strap is an option. With this black color variant from Artem, you'll be able to create this cool transition from dark band to gray case and light green dial. This gives a hint of personality because of that clean black strap clashing against that weathered look of the case. It's also great to keep in mind that I used a black deployant here that flows well with the strap rather than match the case. It's a little playful alternative to focus your attention more on the case than on the hardware from the other side. That beaten up appearance is a clear theme here, so I use this actually beaten Horween strap from Zelos. This is one of my oldest straps to date and it still holds up and gets a lot of wrist time as you can see. 
Now, this whole configuration has that vintage look that I'm sure many of you would love. I know so because I say so and I know that none of you wants to be banned from this channel. Now, while you practice your absolute obedience to this watch pirate captain, allow me to strap it onto my wrist and enjoy this watch's old school beauty. <laughs> Check that out! Now, I think this is the best combination for this watch. It's unusual, it makes me feel that I've done some manual labor and I'm less likely to be a subject of a Faultorp video report. If you feel like turning this into an aviator, then strap on these studded straps that matches the gray color of the base closer. Well, it's not a bad idea if your wrist can pull it off, unlike mine. This just has that massive appeal not because of being popular but because you could actually feel that mass on your wrist. This really thick strap and really thick case can just have that enormous impression when wearing the watch. Now it's one thing to have a large impression and another thing to be actually large in dimensions. Square watches are notorious for wearing big because of the visual direction of the shape's corner. G-Shocks are no stranger to these impressions, even the squares, which are arguably the smaller designs from the brand, still has this common perception. The Coral Stewart gives off this more flat and thinner visual that's not so different against this G-Shock. Another similar profile can be seen on this Heritage Diver from Citizen. This legendary diver from the Japanese powerhouse gives off the same impression with a large chunk of watch over this narrow strap. Beside this alternate, it comes off as a more complex instrument compared to this coral simpler lines. Oh, and it's a lot lighter too because it's titanium. You also had your opinions on this watch like a Hershey Field who seems to be mildly disappointed that I cut right at the moment that I'm showing off the bezel and crown operation. Well, settle down my guy. I'm saving this for the main attraction. Jim Kincaid remarks that the attraction was that back in the 70s, bathtubs were so deep that you had to wear a dive watch. As a bonus, the strap matched the decker. Speaking of the strap, Robert Little Hawk said that he's initially put off by the strap, but the dial and case looks interesting. Now, these guys were following the channel and they saw that I asked for comments ahead of this video. So, be like them and practice your obedience by commenting and subscribing to the channel. As we dive deeper into this design, <laughs> see what I did there? The appeal is obviously the weathering and texturing. This stonewashed effect highlights the scratched off edges a lot, giving it a lived in impression right off the box. And sure, you're welcome to add your own battle damage to this thing, but it's a little extra compared to its other models that sports that clean steel look. It's a little extra for the same price. This thing is built and feels like a tank on your cuff with all of the protruding bumpers and screws on the case back. The less said about the strap, the better. Yes, the color is attractive, the material is soft, but I've seen these straps before and I'm sure they came straight off the supplier's catalog. The dial is where all your money is going in. According to the marketing material, this dial is achieved using this 5-layer inkjet process that delivers these precise shapes and textures while giving off a lush and deep color effect. And that's how they're able to get this lovely and uneven gradient along the rims of the dial. Now, I'm sure that's just a fancy way of calling this dial process and not something groundbreaking, otherwise they would have charged even more. But you cannot deny the beautiful finished product that it was able to achieve. It really does look like they installed a living organism on this dial and added some minute markers to this thing. That dichotomy of nature under these metal elements is a definite selling point for the Coral Stewart. Then add that distressed case and we have an amazingly stunning piece that's such a joy to look at. I had so much fun shooting this watch. So many things could have easily gone wrong with this design, but they managed to pull off all of these elements in a single case and dial construction. I just wish that they put more attention to that loom. I appreciate the effort that went into this watch, especially seeing the evolution of the brand. Sometimes they try a little bit too hard, especially when it comes to the name and story development, but the product itself is an interesting mix of practical proficiency and visual appeal. While in previous collections, there's a clear effort in using some modifications on the timekeeping aspect of the watch, here they mixed it up with visual theme. And here the theme is clear. 
nature and man can live in harmony inside your watch. Although it assures you that no actual corals were harmed in the creation of this timepiece. As for creatures being harmed in the creation of this video though, it's something I'm not going to disclose. Coral Steward from Alto 8. Uh, it's a unique watch. I've never seen a dive watch with two crowns like that in uh, both sides. Usually it's on one side alone, but this time around uh, in their case design, which is very familiar. This is the X uh, case that they've used before and now reconfigured as a dive watch. It's interesting. It has that very nice texture dial and also um, interesting color, the one that they sent me at least. And they also have other more familiar and accessible colors such as blue. Um, what m makes it interesting for me really is the case finishing and how this distressed or stone milled, um, stone washed or stone milled uh, finish is uh, very interesting and captures your attention immediately. It also gives that uh, very durable and toolish feel. So that's the Alto 8 Coral Stewart. Come on guys do better with your names I mean this is not the first time it's a very nice and decent watch and very accessible and actually many of you might like this but change the name okay but that's my opinion comment down below I want to hear your opinion let me know what you guys uh, think about this latest type watch and uh, what you think about Alto 8 altogether as a brand and I think they're continuing with their um, collections and their they continue to grow it as uh, like any other successful micro brands out there. So we might be hearing or we might be seeing more from Alter 8 in the near future.